Welcome back and uh, of course uh, uh, monitoring the festivities that are being held and monitoring uh, what uh, uh, the, cer the ceremony that was taken at Nativity Church at the uh, new capital yesterday it was attended by His Excellency the Head of State President Abdel Fattah Sisi and Pope Tadros II also a huge ceremony was held was attended by all Egyptians uh, from all walks of life and uh, with us now over the phone live is uh, uh, Mrs. Marianne Gerges, uh, a journalist, and uh, uh, also uh, she was celebrating uh, yesterday. Uh, uh, Merry Christmas to you. Thank you. Merry Christmas and good morning. Good morning to you and Happy New Year. And of course, it's a joyful uh, week. Uh, starting uh, that started earlier before yesterday and Egyptians were rejoicing together uh, how do you see uh, the scene of uh, the, the ceremony that was taken yesterday yes of course it's always a precious uh, visit from president of the Fatah Sisi to the nativity of Christ Cathedral mm. and the new administrative capital and we are all, we're always eager for this mm. visit every year mm. uh, actually this church was inaugurated in January 2019 and he and the Pope Swadras uh, inaugurated this church it's all we have to say to the viewers our dear viewers that the one of the largest churches in the Middle East and one of the largest Oriental Orthodox Church in the world by area. Uh, let me tell you that we can see many messages that was presented by President Abdel Fattah Sisi. Exactly. I, I was going to, I was going to, uh, my second question was going to be about the speech of President Abdel Fattah yes. Sisi, yes. where he was shaking hands in person by every person uh, who uh, was passing by while he was uh, uh, passing through the corridor over uh, to uh, Pope Tawadros, he was shaking hands with Egyptians and finally when he arrived he said he talked about unity in general he talked a lot about unity if you like to elaborate over his speech yes uh, let me explain and uh, explain uh, every point in the speech in his few moments that he talked uh, after the warm greetings and the mutual greetings, we saw very warm greetings between him and between that and these. Actually, the white flowers in the beginning, the white flowers were not presented not only to the person of the Pope to address as much as it was presented to the Egyptian Copts, emphasizing the, co the concept of unity. Uh, also, the message of peace that was mm. sent from the cathedral to the whole world, wishing a year of safety, security and goodness to the whole world. Uh, also, President Abdel Fattah Sisi assured people in two main points. The first point that we are one unit, and this is the message that he always emphasized on every message, every year. Uh, also, uh, this, that he reassured the people and he reassured the Egyptians in general that the state and the Egyptian state is very, very aware of their inner words, and he appreciates and he knows that everyone is very worried about his country, and this is normal. But even during the hard economic situation that the world is passing by, the state is not hiding anything, and we trust in God. And this is the usual transparency from, uh, uh, from our Fatah city that we are used to. Uh, also, he praised the wisdom of Pope Tawadros, and every year he praises the, uh, the, the, his wisdom. And he says a very important statement that the religions should not do fail or correspond, but it does not have to match. Right. He also uh, was talking about the trust of Egyptians uh, in the uh, Egyptian administrations. I mean, the trust of citizens. He talked. Uh, about uh, the, the belief in God and the trust in God that the situation is going to be far much way more better and that we're working uh, tooth and nail uh, every day to be able to improve our livelihoods and he talked a lot to comfort Egyptians because we understand that there is a common crisis overwhelming the whole world and there is a small sector of society who is sometimes who are sometimes instigating fear, instigating uh, skepticism among citizens. He was uh, pretty keen on uh, trying to comfort Egyptians, to press uh, trust inside their hearts at this occasion. How do you see that? Yes, uh, as I told you, he was very keen on reassuring all the Egyptians, not only the Copts, but all the Egyptians, that we trust in God and the state is working hard. 
Uh, indeed, we are suffering, but this suffering is a part of the world suffering during the economic crisis that's happening right now during the Russian-Ukrainian war. But the Egyptian, at least the Egyptian state has a vision. And mm. he said very well that uh, after this crisis, the world will change economically and will be rearranged. Even the political paper will be exactly. rearranged again in a new way after this, uh, this war and this crisis. Uh, actually, let me tell you that he said any word is being be made. Uh, as a citizen, I have to trust President Abdel Fattah Sisi. And even I thought in this question yesterday why Christians support Abdel Fattah Sisi and why they trust Abdel Fattah Sisi because he is a very honest and trustworthy, wise, fair. Even he, uh, in his words, he speaks in very simple words to deliver great and deep message. I think this man should be nominated for a Nobel Prize for Peace one day. Right. Another message also was spontaneously given, uh, not on purpose, but it was given and reflected very clear uh, through the ceremony about people who were talking about the popularity of our president. Uh, whenever he entered uh, inside uh, the hall of the church, uh, people were shouting and yelling, we love you, Sisi. They were holding the flags and they were holding uh, some banners that, uh, that greeted President Abdel Fattah Sisi. People Christians and Muslims who were inside the cathedral, they were very happy when he entered and they were, you know, uh, gathered to shake hands with the, the president. Uh, tell us about uh, your reflection of how the scene was uh, uh, delivering the message uh, to the people or the media outlets uh, worldwide. Yes, uh, as you said, we can see in the celebration yesterday in the Christmas Holy Mass, we can see real women. So Muslims and Christians were there in the cathedral in the Holy Mass of the Christmas. And actually this attitude of Baha'i, when you see the head of regime visiting the Pope Salvador, shaking hands with people and celebrating and greeting the Christmas and greeting them for the Christmas, actually this attitude reflects on, uh, on socially and has very positive reflections uh, socially. This blocks any act of discrimination and gives an implicit message to anyone who practices discrimination or carry hatredness in his heart. Uh, we, that we, and this is a very important message that President Abdel Fattah Sisi is very keen to deliver that we have to accept one another. We have to accept the difference and the differences between us. Um, I remember some words for President Fattah Sisi in another celebration when we said we have to be happy for one another when he was commenting on banning or those people who are banning or prohibiting greetings in the Feast for Christians and he said that uh, your brother is happy, you have to be happy for one another and you have nothing to do with his beliefs. Actually, um, maybe yesterday he was giving a very deep messages in very few minutes and he was giving a real true example for how the responsible figures should act and should do to unify the people and to reassure the people how to talk clearly and wisely with all the people so i can see him that he is a very good example for all the officials and for the responsible figures how to act and how to deal with their with their people Right. Of course, also uh, talking about uh, a very distinguished and a very special uh, um, uh, trait that is recognized widely amongst Egyptians for years and years, which is tolerance. Um, starting from the trip of the Holy Family uh, taking refuge to Egypt when Joseph was, was ordered to take uh, 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 Virgin Mary, peace be upon her, and the boy, baby Jesus, back then, peace be upon him, to take refuge and flee to Egypt. Uh, from danger uh, until this very moment how Egyptians are receiving and uh, the other like uh, uh, what you just mentioned right now how people are rejoicing regardless of any differences regardless of difference in beliefs regardless in difference in uh, races in color in anything um, it is continuing to the, till this very moment this was explicitly clear yesterday in, uh, the, inside the cathedral. Describe yes. to us the scene inside the cathedral. Yes, this is the nature of the, the Egyptian society so long ago, as you said, thousands of years ago, this is the society. And this is our, our Egyptian, the very nature of the Egyptian society. Uh, just uh, some, uh, maybe the events during 2011 and 2013, 
and the skepticism and the evil people with the hatredness inside their heart may be uh, made some disturbance in the Egyptian society or the Egyptian character and we needed someone like Abdel Fattah Sisi to remind us how to be one, how to be unified and as you said yesterday in the Christmas Mass and the Christmas Holy Mass uh, we saw everyone from every part of the society and the top officials were very keen, not even in the mass, but before the mass, the top officials, the prime minister and the ministry of the homeland security and uh, uh, all the top officials were very keen to pay a visit to uh, Pope Taodris and they greet. And when someone like this pay a visit to Pope Taodris to greet the Christmas, they are not paying the visit to the person, as I said, to the person of the Pope Taodris the second, but to every Coptic uh, person living in this country. Exactly. On this very beautiful note, of course, uh, uh, um, uh, Dr. Dr. Marianne Girgis, the journalist, would like to thank you so much and Merry Christmas to you. Thank you for uh, talking to us on The Breakfast Show. And we're going to go to a short break and we'll come to continue The Breakfast Show. So stay with us. Mm -hmm.